everyone, and welcome to Taylor's Tech Talks. My name is Taylor Arndt, and I am a freelance WordPress professional, accessibility consultant, and trainer. I am the owner of Taylor's Accessibility Services, LLC, based out of Michigan, where I assist companies, individuals, and governments with accessibility consulting, WordPress website development, training for accessibility and WordPress. I've been in the industry for three years and I love helping make the world more accessible. Before we get started with the video today, I have a couple announcements that I want to make. First off, this week was Global Accessibility Awareness Day and that was on May 20th. This is a day where we can really think about how we want to make ourselves more accessible and make our content more inclusive. There's over a hundred events that were on the Global Accessibility Awareness Day homepage and some of them are actually coming up. So some actually haven't even happened yet. And so they're this week as of recording. And so you can check those out. The other announcement I want to make is that the Taylor's Accessibility Services website is getting a full remake. And as a result, we are going to be consolidating and making things a much better experience. So look out for those announcements as they will come. But I just thought I would tell you what we are up to. Okay. We're going to get into the topic. And we are talking about the block editor, a.k.a. Gutenberg. As a recap, we are building a website called WP for All, where this is the home of our clubhouse club, WP for All, where we have rooms talking about WordPress, answering questions, and assisting members on a frequent basis. We are building this site from an accessibility perspective with a full goal to be fully accessible and to show you how you can build a website if you are using a screen reader. If you are blind and you are using a screen reader like myself, I prefer NVDA or non-visual desktop access as it tends to work a lot better for WordPress. You can use JAWS, but it is a little bit more complicated, but NVDA is free and it will just give a better experience. In addition, I am using Google Chrome and I would recommend any Chromium based browser, whether that's Edge, Chrome, or others for doing WordPress. I found it to be a lot better of an experience. Okay, enough background. So today's topic is the Gutenberg editor. Again, the block editor. And those are two interchangeable terms. What they basically mean is they mean the editor that's built into the WordPress platform. I want to talk about this topic because this is a lot of controversy in the blindness community. And the reason being is that Gutenberg came out in 2018, more specifically December 16th for the version 5.0 release of WordPress. However, when it first came out, it was completely inaccessible for us blind users. And so we, we're a little bit reluctant, obviously, to try to use it for our sites because it wasn't accessible. And we still are reluctant in some instances to use it for our sites today. But what I want to share with you is tips so that you can make the editor more accessible and easier to use so that you are able to take advantage of all the great features and that you're able to understand how it works. Because while there are some issues, it is definitely much more accessible and can be done with the right techniques. So why do we even care about this? Why can't I just use the classic editor and just call this day? Why do I have to learn something new? I don't want to learn anything new. Frankly, I don't care. Well, you should, because here's the deal. The classic editor has been around for a long time. And while it's okay, you have to install the plugin. There could be a risk that it could be out of date or it could reach end of life. But that's not my main concern. My main concern is security because technically the classic editor is not being supported anymore. So I don't want to use something that's not being supported, especially if I'm dealing with client sites, which I am because I own an agency where I make websites for people. 
And as a result, I want to make sure that I have the most up-to-date path that WordPress is going. And WordPress is going in the direction of blocks. And so I want to use the blocks because that's where WordPress is going. And security is very important. And so those reasons are why I care and I want to make sure that I use the block editor or the Gutenberg editor. Because that is where WordPress is going. And we don't know when the classic editor will be discontinued. We don't know what that's going to hold. But frankly, I don't want to be in the middle of a project and find out, oh, it's not supported anymore. Now what am I going to do? And so it's just a lot better if we can move to the block editor earlier on. And that way we can focus on being able to update the site and learn how it works. Because that's where WordPress is going. We don't want to be stuck, you know, five years in the past, do we? I mean, because the Gutenberg editor is already almost three, four years old now. So I don't want to be stuck in the past. And so I want to talk you know, mainly about how we can use this. I hope I convinced you that now we should use the block editor. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through a demonstration of how you can use it with the NVDA screen reader or any screen reader for that matter, effectively. We are going to break down everything. And I'm in the dashboard, actually. Right now, I am in the site itself. I'm going to find my edit page since I'm already on the site and I'm logged in. If you're not, you can go to your dashboard, which I've shown in previous tutorials, and you can go to all pages and then find the page you want to edit. I'm just going to mess with the home page for now. And then I'm going to find edit page. I'm already logged into the admin interface and I have the site pulled up. I'm just going to go to edit page. That'll just be a lot easier in this scenario. I'm going to use insert F7 to locate my links. Elements, edit page. WP for all, the home of the WP for all club on Clubhouse dash Google Chrome dash Taylor. WP for all, the home of the WP for all club on Clubhouse document. Link contact. I am on the page right now where the WP for all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area where it says title. And I'm going to use my E key for edit boxes to find that. And the title is the page title. There are two panes when you are navigating WordPress. There is the title and then the body. The title is where you put the page title. The body is where all blocks go. First, I'm going to find the title. Clickable main landmark editor content region add title edit multi-line home. Okay. Out of edit paragraph block grouping multi-line editable welcome to the WP for all club. This is home of the WP for all club on Clubhouse. What you could do is you could press down arrow. And if you press down arrow from the title, you're going to be in something called navigation mode. In WordPress, we have two modes. We have navigation. We have editing. Navigation is basically where we can navigate the blocks and we're not actually editing them. So if I press down arrow, you'll hear the next line of this paragraph and you can tell that I'm in navigation mode. And we have frequent events talking WordPress and help desk sessions for members. How can this help you? Because you could navigate to where you want to edit and then get in edit mode by pressing space. The disadvantage to that, however, is that you will be able to have to go back to the beginning. So it'll jump you back there when you try to uh, go into edit mode directly into from navigation. So what I tend to do instead is I just start in editing mode. And editing mode is the same as focus mode in NVDA. And navigation mode in WordPress is the same as browse mode in NVDA. So that makes any sense. I'm going to recap basically what I did. I'm going to escape out of here. I'm going to go control home. And I'm going to repeat this again so we can get the process down pat. I'm going to press E for edit fields to locate the title. Clickable editor content region add title edit multi-line home. I'm going to press down arrow. Out of edit paragraph block grouping multi-line editable welcome to the spelling error WP for all club. Space. There is how I get into edit mode. So, now I'm in edit mode. That's great. Let's say that I want to add a paragraph before the paragraph on the page. How would I do that? Well, I would start from the very beginning of the paragraph. I would go home to go to the top of the line, to the beginning of the line. And then I heard W. So, W happened to be the previous word of the welcome to WP for all. I'm going to press enter. 
Paragraph block grouping multi-line editable. Welcome to the WP for All Club. This is home of the WP for All Club on Clubhouse. I'm going to press up arrow. Empty block. Start writing or type forward slash to choose a block grouping multi-line editable blank. So what did that do? It created an empty block above the block that I just inserted. All right. And up and down arrow moves between the different blocks if you haven't been able to catch that already. So up and down arrow will move you between the different blocks in the editor. I'm going to type a simple test. So I'm going to say this paragraph is a test from Taylor. And I'm showing you how I would make a block in that you don't want to put all of your content directly from your head into the WordPress editor. You want to put it in Word first to, for one, spell check it. For two, you can use the markdown, the writage thing that we talked about last week to put it in these blocks. But this, what I'm showing you, is a good way if you need to edit content or you want to change something. But never, ever, ever write the content outright in the WordPress editor. I don't recommend it. I added my block, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up arrow. This is a test from Taylor. Add title, edit, multi-line home. This is a test from Taylor. So it read, this is a test from Taylor, and then it read home. So I'm in the title pane. I'm going to go down arrow again, and I'm still in edit mode. I'm still in edit mode because it, if I wasn't, I would hear the other noise, right? If I'm in NVDA, I'll still be in edit mode. So just as a note there. I'm still in edit mode until I get out of edit mode by pressing escape. Paragraph block grouping multi-line editable blank. You hear that blank, and this is a bug that we need to fix in Gutenberg or the block editor. But basically what happened is it read the paragraph block. And how I know that, if I press control left arrow. Dot Taylor. It says this is a test from Taylor. But it kind of read it as if it was at the blank line. So it should automatically always read that paragraph block. There are weird accessibility bugs like that. That's just a little bit of a PSA. All right. So we understand moving between blocks. We understand how to do that. But how do I add a block? You kind of already know. But let's go over it again. I'm going to go to the very end of this block by pressing E. Or excuse me, end. Blank. Empty block. Start writing or type forward slash to choose a block grouping multi-line editable. I pressed enter, and that is where, if I press enter, I get a new block. But how do I change the type of my block? Great question, right? Because we don't want just paragraphs all the time, do we? I mean, that wouldn't be ideal. Because for one thing, websites aren't just made of paragraphs, are they? No. Changing block types can be done pressing the slash key. So slash... Whoops. Head, head, editor content region. Paragraph block grouping multi-line editable blank. R blank. R blank. Dot b, empty block. List. Heading one of nine. Nine results found. Use up and down arrow keys to navigate. Nine results found. Alrighty. I have nine results and I want to find the block that I want to insert. It shows nine at a time. What you can do is if you insert and add more plugins, so plugins, recall, extend the functionality of WordPress and they add new functionality. If you add plugins, they can actually sometimes add additional blocks. So by default, nine blocks show up. Throughout the series, we will be dealing with different kinds of blocks. This is just an introduction. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a heading block for the time being. Headlock, heading one of nine. Editor content region. Block, heading grouping, multi-line editable. I'm going to say uh, heading. H. Test. Uh, what am I going to do to get a new block? Do you remember? I'm going to press enter. Enter will add a new block. Empty block. Start writing or type forward slash to choose a block grouping, multi-line editable. Alrighty. Let's say that I want to add a heading level 3, because remember, by default, these WordPress headings, if you haven't noticed, are heading level 2. I don't always want heading level 2s. We want to add heading level 3s, or maybe we want to change some headings. All right, we are in our editor, and we are going to now add a heading level 3. First, we need to add a new block by pressing Enter, which I've already done. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to locate our heading block option, 
in our block list by pressing the slash key. This will allow us to change the block type because remember, a paragraph is the default block type, which is obviously something we do not want. Slash. List. Nine results found. Another trick that I can do is I can actually filter by first letter navigation. So I could start typing H for heading and it will pop right up, which is actually what I just did. And I'm going to press enter now. Editor content region. Block. Heading grouping multi-line editable. I'm now going to type in the content that I want to type into the heading text itself. I'm just going to say H3. I'm now going to select this entire block. This is very important because if you do not do this, you will not get the block tools panel in the next step. So very important. You're going to select it by pressing shift plus end to select the entire line. H, H3 selected. I selected the entire content of the block. Very important because if you do not do this again, you will not understand what we're going to do next. I'm going to get out of editing mode by pressing escape. I'm going to go to the top of the page by pressing control home. Out. I'm going to now find, using my screen reader find, that will be the easiest way to do this, change. And it's going to say change heading level, which is exactly what we want. The other thing we could do is we could change alignment, we could change fonts, and all that kind of fun stuff. But for all intents and purposes today, what I want to do is I want to change the heading level. So I'm going to type change, control, insert, F. I showed this last time. Blank. Clickable editor, content, region, block, tools, toolbar, change, block type, or style. There's actually three different changes here. Find. Clickable change alignment. Find dialog. Menu button collapse, submenu change, heading level. There we go. Change heading level, toolbar. Heading one toggle button not pressed. I'm going to use right arrow to navigate the content of this toolbar. Heading two toggle. Heading 3, toggle button, not pressed. Press. Enter. That will immediately transform it into a heading level 3. And that'll be good. All right. I'm now going to go back into the edit mode. And we are going to do a couple more things. And then we're going to end this video. I'm going to go back into edit mode by pressing E. The next edit field. Whoops. Or not. Control, uh, home. Clickable editor content region add title edit multi line home block heading grouping heading test editor content region block heading grouping multi line editable heading test I'm from my heading test which is an H2 block heading grouping multi line editable H3 H3 which I made an H3 but let's verify we made an H3 by updating the page we're gonna update the page by going up and finding update. I can actually just use Shift B, which will go to previous buttons here. Dismiss this notice. Editor top bar region options menu button settings top update button. There was only four Updating. in there. Updating. Unavailable. Or, in addition to that, you could also use your find command. But since I already knew I was pretty close, I could just do it that way. I'm going to locate new. Uh, a new tab. S loops. R L S L S w P for all. S Main link mark home heading level 1. Heading test heading level 2. H3 heading level 3. H3. Alrighty. We have an H3. That's what we wanted. I don't want all this nonsense on the page, do I? No. So let's get rid of it all because we don't want all this H3, H2 test stuff. Like, that's not going to make any sense. So the last thing I'm going to show you is how we can get rid of this block set. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this by... Edit page less than double going into the editor and I like to have a new tab open because I could just press alt tab and then go back to the editor rather than trying to have to go back and forth that's just kind of a tip I always tell my students when I train them open up a second tab your life will be a million times easier what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my edit again menu button editor content region clicker will add title edit multi-line home block heading grouping heading test editor content region Block, heading grouping, multi-line editable, heading test. All right, so there's two ways we can do this. If you press shift and down arrow, you will select two blocks by default, which is fine in this instance because we have two blocks we need to delete. If you're going to only need to delete one at a time, what you'll do is you'll press your shift and end key, you'll delete it, the, the text, and then you will delete the heading. 
I'm going to actually show you the second method because that might be more applicable. I'm going to press Shift and End to select the entire line. Heading test selected. Backspace. T. Unselected. Blank. Edit page less than WP for all WordPress document. And guess what? It's gone. So you press Control, Shift, N, End, excuse me. You do Backspace, Backspace. That will get rid of the block really easily. But let's practice that again. So Control, Shift, N. Page 3 selected. Backspace. Three. Unselected. Backspace. Edit page less than WP for all WordPress document. That's a really easy way to get rid of blocks. I'm now going to find my update and I'm going to call this a day with this uh, editing tutorial. Out. Mode. Undo. Read. Do, out. Switch. Preview. Update. Bu updating. Update. On w H W P. Main landmark home heading level. Welcome to the WP for all club. This is home of the WP for all club on Clubhouse. All right. We are back to where we started. That's a good thing. We have gotten rid of everything that we don't need, and we have learned to use the block editor for a very basic level. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things that I can tell you, but again, we will learn about that later. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you want to stay up to date with all of Taylor's Tech Talks offerings, you may do so by going to taylorstechtalks.com. Link will be in the description. If you found this video helpful and it added value, you can feel free to support the podcast and channel by doing a few different things. For one, I have some affiliate links in the description, and these are products that I endorse, that I use every day for my business or otherwise for the channel. And if you feel so inclined, you can use my link and try them out for yourself. However, I will get a financial kickback, but that will go right back into helping this channel and podcast be possible. If you would like to support by becoming a member, that is also another option. You can go to taylorstechtalks.com and become a member. We have three membership tiers at the moment. Our $1 tier, Community Discord. You get access to our awesome Discord server with some crazy awesome people in there. And you get access to that for just a dollar our three dollar tiers are honorable mention and i want to mention a couple of our awesome members michael terry is one of them and the five dollar tiers are early access or early bird and so if you want to hear all these videos before everybody else does because you like them so much and you want to help support feel free to join the early bird tier and you will be able to get them after they are edited and post produced I also have some awesome partners that I have really worked awesome with. And one of those is Penny Forward. You probably heard their podcast. I am a sponsor. And they provide financial literacy and other interviews of blind professionals who are working and successful. If you would like to listen to their podcast, I'm going to link a link in the description, but Chris Peterson, who runs it, is really awesome because what he does is he hires all blind-owned businesses to help him produce this podcast, and I just think that's an awesome idea. So if you want to support his podcast, you can look in the description. I will link another podcast that I really enjoy and that is a partner of mine is iAccessibility. Uh, making success accessible and they provide app development web hosting and some cool app services and if you want to hear about them you can go to iaccessibility.net and I will link to them in the description as well alrighty without further ado this has been an awesome tutorial and I look forward to seeing you guys next week